Oh my god. It was my birthday a couple days ago and my friend Adeline texted me saying happy birthday, like expect a package in the next few days. And I was like, cool, maybe like a Starbucks gift card or some fuzzy socks, something small and cute. But this is what I found at my doorstep this morning. Wow. So I work with Adeline and I help her edit her videos, I help her film, I take her photos. So she knows how passionate I am about photography and videography. And she also knows how much I love Peter McKinnon and look up to his content. So I'm super flattered that she even remembered that and that she got me this and I cannot wait to open this up. First off, let's get it out of this box. Usually I would film an unboxing like this in my office where I can set up a nice overhead camera and then a talking head camera and make this, you know, a really nice satisfying unboxing. But with everything that's going on right now, my sister is a nurse, so she's been exposed and is quarantined in my office. <laughs> that's her living space for right now. So this is where I'm staying, and I guess sitting on the floor is my new filming setup. I love that the box is covered in his logos because as soon as this got to the door, I knew exactly what it was. Just kidding, I can't even see anything, it's in a bag. Oh that's pretty cool. Even the bag that it comes in is like high quality with the logo and like this isn't just some regular plastic. This is some thick plastic. Oh my god. This is actually my first time seeing this in person. I haven't even seen anyone else's backpacks yet. Wow. Wow. I've already watched Peter unboxing it. I've watched him explaining everything that's in it. I've watched like five other people's unboxing and explaining what's in it. So I kind of know a little bit about it, but wow, this is like some intense equipment. First impression is high quality. Like this is like durable, you know? If you're flying with this and they're like chucking it around as, you know, like people do. This seems pretty secure. This definitely isn't an everyday backpack. I personally keep my camera backpack pretty light. I have my body, two lenses, a mic, a strap, some filters, memory cards, a GoPro, and that's pretty much it. So my everyday bag is a brev brevet, 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 this backpack that my friends Chris and Lizzie gave to me and I find that's a really good backpack for everyday use but this bag is perfect for traveling I mean I haven't even opened it up yet but from what I've seen in other videos is that it has places to pack things like clothes and wallets and passports so it's not just for your camera gear it's kind of like a carry-on suitcase for when you're going on work trips I remember for one work trip I went to LA and it was only for one night but my everyday backpack was too small but my carry-on seemed a little excessive for just one night so this would be perfect for a trip like that where you need your camera equipment you need a couple clothes and that's about it now let's pick this thing apart I don't even know where to start I guess I'll start with this front pocket here oh I see I love that there's a bunch of different little pockets here. You can put different filters in there. And then there's even more pockets up here. Wow. I, like Peter, am an organizational freak. I love pocket pouches, color matching, all that kind of stuff, which Peter is all about. So I'm really excited about that being in a backpack. There's also a front pocket here. It says fly the flag. And this pocket is where you can put some important stuff. But one cool little thing that I love is this little clip. So not only can you put it in this little pouch, but you can also clip something to keep it nice and safe. Maybe like car keys or something like that. Okay, next pocket. There is another zipper that makes the bag thicker. So you can fit a little bit more into that front pocket. Next, I think this is the main body pocket. Oh, <gasps> the branding on this bag is on point. The little camera divider. Oh, those are tough. I have the freaking pirate. This bag is literally a maze with all of these different pockets. Oh, that's computer. Again, 
branding on point. Then some more little pockets for little gadgets, maybe chargers, SD card holders. And then of course the main body where you keep your camera and lenses. So the thing that I love about this bag is that you can keep all of the camera gear down here and then put things like clothes, a jacket, stuff like that all up here. And another thing I love is this side pocket access right here so when you want to get your camera or your lens or something from your bag you don't have to place it on the ground open up your bag dissect it you can just open up this side pocket I'm personally a big fan of those also looking at the side I'm noticing there's even a handle on the side and then of course the other oh magnet okay so I love that again another handle on this side and then the pocket for the water bottle tripod pocket actually it snaps shut Wow. Oh, I think this is side, oh wait, another pocket. I thought this was like side access to the laptop pocket, but now I'm thinking this one might not be for the laptop, and I think this one is for the laptop. It seems a little more safe and secure. Whoa, this thing is literally a maze of pockets. So then the back strap, this is like some heavy duty back strap and I think it's all removable. There is an extra back strap here and an extra waist strap, but I think I remember Peter saying these come off. Oh yeah, so you can slide. Okay, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I can feel that it's Velcroed down, but this does slide out and then there is another pocket up here, which I'm not 100% what the purpose of that is, but I'm gonna go back and watch Peter's video again to figure that out. I think I got all of the pockets. There's a bunch of little tiny details, like these little openings here. I'm sure you can clip stuff on there. It's the same little openings right here and on this side, which I'm sure all have a purpose. There's a handle on the bottom, so you can literally grab this from any side. Okay, I think I looked at all the little gadgets in here. Honestly, there's so much going on with this backpack that I'm gonna go back and watch Peter's video to make sure I'm getting the most out of this and I'm not missing out on any features because I know a lot of time and thought was put into this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and first impressions of the Peter and Nomadic backpack. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below. And if you wanna see a review after I've tried this backpack out and used it a few times, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll do that in like a month or two. Actually, it'll probably be longer than that because I don't think I'm going on a plane anytime soon, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just put all my camera stuff in here for fun. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.